Alright guys, welcome back. Let's go back into game. We are back into the game, hopefully. Good luck, have fun, go. The next map is Daybreak. And Desro... Oh, man. Desro's a decent player. He's a very, very hard-working individual. You cannot take that away from him. The thing is, though, Revival, man. This guy's been in Code A three times. Desro hasn't qualified for Code A before. It's just a different skill level. But overall, it's a show match. Desro is trying his hardest against this. And if he takes a game, you know, that should be amazing for him. That's a great achievement. So... You should be egging him on here for sure. So, good luck, Kafran, called by Desro. Desro does spawn in the top right here. And we do have Revival as the Red Zerg in the bottom left. And uh, basically, Cho, so, Cho Gosu means very good in Korean. So, Desro says, Mute is very good. And Revival says, No. Well, they are pretty good. Um, as long as you don't have High Templar, they're pretty good. Um, Alright, so this... Daybreak. Uh, it's a very large map. It actually is a bit of a. Um, if you look at it on the minimap, for example, it looks really small, but in, in reality, it's really big. Um, if you follow this probe, and oh, let me hit that control N. Um, so the, the probe has to go all the way around, of course, and this kind of means that it's naturally going to be a more of a defensive map. Um, obviously, because the rush distances are shorter. The thing is, for Desro as well, which works out kind of well, is I don't think Mutas are that good here compared to the two maps that we've just played on Antigua Shipyard and then, of course, Taldra Malta. And the reason for that is the, the distances between main, natural, and third is not that bad, and there's no different bases as such. Um, if you think about... Well, actually, I shouldn't probably just idle in the middle of nowhere when I'm talking. If you think about Antigua Shipyard, is that, you know, the, the main base of third base, you, there's a long walkway... And if you try to blink there and get there faster, the blink cooldown is there. You can run around and bring the muters to another location, and it's obviously very difficult. The same for Taldor and Malta. You know, getting from your main to your third base is really, really difficult. This map, though, is just a straight line, so that works in Desro's favor for sure. Um, a bit of a late forge actually going down for Desro. Not really late. I, I guess it's kind of normal, but it's not early, so he's kind of not expecting any early aggression from... Um, Revival and why would you? Revival's winning the games quite clear so far, so I expect exactly the same from Revival. Desro does not even get the uh, the deny the denial here. Sorry, and uh, I, I suppose we'll see a fast third soon as well. Meanwhile, Desro, what can Desro do in this game? Obviously, not let six slings into his base. Uh, that's a good start, and especially against kind of an early pull, it's like 13, 14. Uh, he probably will want to add on the the, the cannon before the gateway. Uh, otherwise, oh, actually, on this map, it, it, I kind of forget it's daybreak, isn't it? You can actually go the other way around on this map because obviously it takes longer for the links to get there uh, compared to on Taldramalta, the same side of the map. It's uh, a lot easier there. But the cannon does go down and the gateway, and the cannon will be up in plenty of time. And second pile on two, so Desro can continue pro production once this is up. And the first game, good. Desro started off really well. Second game, that beginning mistake, technically cost him the entire of the game because it put him so far behind and then that void ray zealot thing is never going to work because you're that far behind or even your opponent's that far ahead and so he was naturally just behind that game and could never come back the first game though was a different story he was ahead and then lost being ahead so in this game it's all to play for for sure second gas has been added on now as well and the cyber core is going to complete the the three plus pylon building or i guess four building wall off here and Desro should be looking to transfer down in a few seconds as well. And I'm wondering if he's going to add on that Stargate. We can kind of tell by if he wants to, once the Cyber Core's finished, if he wants to get the plus one or not, or if he wants to get a Sentry out. I do like the Zealot. Um, the Zealot basically is going to be, ooh, very nice hiding location for that probe, by the way. Uh, the Zealot's going to be used um, basically to run up to the natural, or even run to the third. Depends on if this probe gets killed or not. And the Zealot can check the drone count. It can check you. It can check, all right. Alright, let me explain this. Look at the Desro's vision. If you're playing against an all-in, there's going to be rubbish warping in here. So Desro can actually move in, or move down, sorry, and see it. And the amount of games that I've actually savored because of that, can't even count on, on my two hands. So, right now, Desro first of all sees that there's no speed. Uh, and then he's going to be able to send that probe and get the scout of this third base, which I don't think he's done yet. 
Um, let's just double check. Oh, no, he hasn't done yet, so hasn't done. Good overall scouting here by Revival. See the, the, the third and fourth gas here, and there is that Stargate been added on once again here by Desro with plus one, which is at a decent time already. So it looks like we are going to be seeing plus one Zealots and Void Rays towards this third base. And that's pretty cheeky of that pylon to go down because Revival's not going to know about it either. He may suspect it, though, um, especially because he knew that the, the probe didn't die. So he's building a few links right now, and I'm sure he's going to go down and check this third base out. Desro has scouted the third base now. It's just going to push back. He should actually run all the way home, to be honest, or at least run to the pylon ready for that warp in. Um, or protect the probe, I suppose, is another thing he could do. But right now, the Reviver's got links out, and these are destined to die. Though Probe and Zealot actually beats five links, so... Um, it, well, actually, a Reviver's control right now, definitely not. <laughs> Never mind, and the four come to clear it up anyway. Meanwhile, Desro warp gate being done. Additional gateways added on, but he's at 600 minerals. He's going to be warping in off three gateways. Did he not want a fourth one? Hmm, that seems a little bit late. Maybe it was a misclick. But plus one is now finished. Um, lings are coming. They're gonna. I think they're going to find that pylon, aren't they? They don't have a waypoint, but they're going to probably find it. And Desro has... To, even if he warps in to save it, right? He's going to lose the zealots warping in. And that plan has failed. So, right now, Desro taking the, the third and fourth gas. Uh, void Ray is, second Void Ray is coming. Let's have a look at the drone count. 56, drones are still being made. And that kind of didn't work so well for Desro. So, Desro kind of has to go to plan B, which is a second Stargate. Okay. So, this may or may not work. In the way that Revival is playing, I doubt this is going to work. Simply because he's adding on Spore, Crawl, he, he's kind of used to Desro playing with Stargates all the time. Um, and there's a Spore Crawl in the main as well. No Spore Crawl in the natural. So, uh, maybe it can work. Maybe it can. But the thing is, when you go double Stargate, it's all about the element of surprise. And you, you kind of hope that your opponent doesn't all over build Spore Crawlers, and then all of a sudden. There's like eight phoenixes come in, and it's like, oh, <laughs> what? And then you're in a lot of trouble. Um, and then you kind of have to build corruptors to deal with it. So we'll see how that goes down. Uh, with this kind of heavy style too, is you can't really take a fast third base if you go and double stargate simply because of uh, the fact that you don't have any ground units to defend it. So Desra has to play very much tightly in his natural, and with that he adds on a bunch of gateways. So right now with three extra gateways, Desro's not looking to take a third base, guys. He is looking to finish this game. He's going to try and do as much damage as possible right now. He's going to get plus one as well, so he's going to kind of hide these phoenixes, I suppose, and then come in with them all of a sudden, and then use six gateways to back that up. And that may or may not work, obviously, depending on how things go. Zealots are right now. They do have plus one. No more upgrades from the forge. But the plus one on the Phoenix is going to help out a lot. Does Desro know about that Spire? I don't think he does. And I, I expect we're going to see Mutilus come. So almost Desro's looking for a direct counter to this. And now Phoenix has been... I, ah, I shouldn't have showed... Maybe he thought the Spire has already been done, but... I doubt it. he shouldn't have really showed the phoenixes before the spire had been completed because now Revival has the option to change his tech way. He's gone for carapace instead of attack. Uh, and he's also still going for mutus. So basically what this is going to come down to is muta versus phoenix control. And the way that you have to control mutas is you stack them. Uh, so they're like basically in a clump ball and then you back and forth and you, and you kind of have to one hit the phoenixes and splash damage kills everything. So Desro... I don't know, man. We saw Desro's control with the Phoenixes, and it's very difficult to control Phoenixes and control everything else at the same time. So, plus one is about to finish. Desro needs to warp in Stalkers right now, to be honest. But he doesn't have that much money. Um, Stalkers would be okay with Zealots as well. Or maybe he's just gone for Zealots only. Uh, we'll see what he does decide to do here now. But Phoenixes are going to kill these Mutas really fast, to be honest. With plus one, and the Mutas only being at a small amount... Desro is, yeah, definitely should be warping his zealots against all these lings that are coming. What am I on about stalkers? Um, Desro's got enough right now to kill this, but the thing is, the spine crawls and spore crawls are preventing Desro from getting in there, which is buying so much time for revival to get upgrades, to get a good meter count, and uh oh, phoenixes. Phoenixes are too close in there. Good force fields. Oh, actually, phoenix is doing a lot of damage. Not being hit by the mutas. And the mutas just suddenly disappear, and Desro comes out ahead once again. The supply is so close. Desro working from six gateways, and all he needs to do right now is build Zealots. He knows his opponent is on muters, 
uh, which means the gas is else. There's nowhere else gas can be. Only mutants and upgrades. Desro is powering down onto this third base. And will he be able to get this third base? That is the question right now. <coughs> if he gets that third base, that is going to be huge for Desro. And this is a, a humongous surprise for a revival, not knowing about these phoenixes. But it's so difficult to take that third base with these three spine crawls there. And Desro warps in another round of zealots. Revival knows that his opponent has not taken a third base. Revival knows he just has to defend. But the thing is, he can't really defend with muters against these plus one phoenixes. So he has to tech switch out, as you can see now. Roach and Hydras are coming out. Desro trying a different angle now, but, well, three spine crawls are here as well. Zealots are pretty good against the spine crawls, but right now the phoenixes, as well as the queen spine crawls, are doing a lot of damage. It's so close. Desro's got so much money. What's his chrono boost? Is it a hundred? A hundred. He has to use his chrono boost on the gateways more. He has to get units in there faster. That's most definitely what he should be doing. Ah, he's using it in Phoenixes. Okay, that can be okay as well. But I think that Desro's slowly getting pushed out. It's taken too long. The three base economy is kicked in. The third base didn't go down. And all of a sudden, we've got Hydra range coming, Roach speed coming, plus two links, 26 links. Look at the lava injects. Oh my god. Main base, lava inject. It is at 27 energy. It's about to lava inject after this fight over here. And it's going to be incredibly low. Revival is hitting every single lava inject. He's not stuttering on anything. And Desro is going to try and go in again. And Revival is just building spine coils. He knows it's a two base all in. So he doesn't have to do anything. And 2-0 now against 1-0. These links are going to beat the zealots down. Um, Desro now has to think about plan C. Uh, we've gone from plan A to plan B to plan C, and plan C has to be trying to take a third base, but uh, it's going to be difficult because now Revival has 66 drones. He also has 15 Hydras in production. What does Desro have to beat Hydras? Only Phoenixes. Uh, Ling's coming down to deny the third base now, and Revival is uh, looking on a different level to Desro now. Once again, Desro very close but not quite enough and look at the supply dropping down the third oh my god i don't even think that gets cancelled and gg by desro and three zero i'm not sure if that i think that the show match rules is that they're playing it out um so let me just check uh let me go over into the splash screen and check if he is playing it out for you guys i think he is so are you playing it out four and fifth game uh, no, he is not playing it out. So that looks like that is it for the show match, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. GG from Desro 3-0 for Revival. Uh, that is that from me. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Obviously, support Desro, Desro Fighting. Thank you to Max Frag Ventrilo as well for giving the $50 to Revival or putting it up for the show match, I guess you can say. And there we go. That is the show match stream today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. This has been D Apollo. See you later.